Hey everybody, so today we're going to be verifying Electrum with GPG. So of course you're going to need GPG installed and verified on your machine. I have a video about this, so please do that first. Then when you're ready, you can skillfully navigate to the website. One way to do that would be to go from Twitter, but make sure this is the authentic uh, Electrum. Uh, I do that by checking that it's followed by a hundred other people I'm following. Okay, that's good. So we go to their website and the download section. And if we scroll down to OSX, we can download the executable file. That's the DMG. I already have it saved. I put it in a folder on my desktop called Electrum. Then we'll need to import some uh, public keys into our keychain. The three people who are signing the releases, Thomas V, Sober Knight, and MZ. Um, so they recommend at the top that we, that we verify at least two signatures. So um, if we go up to here, here are the builders and links to their public keys. And I believe if we go to view file, then we can copy and paste the whole public block into our clipboard. We'll see a notification by GPG and we can import, but I already have it. But we need to verify that this is the authentic fingerprint, that this is the authentic Thomas V. So how do we do that? This is critically important. So how do we do that? Well, what I did was I searched for Thomas V, Electrum, uh, public key. And the results I got um, and I've already searched through all these and I found him on uh, GitHub. I also found somewhere in the docs, uh, I found a YouTube video. That was cool because I could see his public, uh, I could see his fingerprint um, in, on a YouTube video. Uh, it's also in this Bitcoin Talk article and in this Casa blog. So I found it multiple places. So I'm confident that this is his public key and the fingerprint starts with 6694D8DE. So I'm confident that's him. So I changed the detail level and the ownership trust level to marginal. So now that we have Thomas V in our, Thomas V's public key in our keychain, let's use this signature and prove that this uh, executable file, the DMG we downloaded, is authentic. So if we click on this, there's two ways we can do this. The first way is to simply push Command S and save this file. And I'm saving it, I'm saving it to the desktop. Oh, I'm saving it to the desktop, so here it is. And if I drag it into my Electrum folder, then we can see then we can see that um, the file names aren't exact, so we need to change the file name. Except for the .asc at the end, they need to be identical. So once we change the file name, then we can simply click on either one, go down to services, open PGP, verify signature of file, and bada bing, bada boom, we get a positive result. So next, let's do MZs, and oh, we need to put MZ in our keychain. So if we go back to the several builders, and we see MZ, we can copy this whole block. and copy that into our clipboard. We can see GPG is aware of that and do we want to import it? 
We'll import it. I already have him. So we also need to verify that this is the authentic uh, website for, for Steven. So how can we do that? Um, one way is to, uh, if we go to details, we can copy his fingerprint here and we can search on Keybase. And here he is. So that's one confirmation. We can also look on Twitter and here he is. And we can also see that on Twitter, oh, so convenient, he puts his fingerprint right in this profile. How convenient. So we've got uh, a few verifications that this is his authentic uh, fingerprint and public key, so that's why I changed the owner trust level to marginal. So that's good. Now we can go to the verification process. And how do we do that? Um, we uh, click on the signature and so we can again save it or another way to do it is we can copy it and then open up our text editor and when we open up our text editor we can paste this uh, message we can go to format make plain text and we can save as MZ. And, and here it's on my desktop. If we move it into our Electrum folder, note always these need to be in the same folder, and the file names need to be the same. But there's a trick here. Because if we copy the name and paste it we have uh, oh it says are you sure you want to change it yeah, okay but we've already used this exact same name so it says please choose a different name so what we can do is just simply uh, take this one out that was Thomas's and so we've already verified that so we don't need it anymore whoops let's just take that away and we can paste. This is just another way. Yes, we want to use this. So this is just another way to create the file. So then we click on it, verify the file, and we get the trusted signature. So that is good. The one thing Electrum doesn't offer is uh, a checksum of the executable file, the DMG. But we can do that ourselves with the shawson slash a 256 command and dragging in the DMG file. And we crunch that unique hash. And they don't publicly post this, which is unfortunate, but you can compare your hash to mine. Mine starts with CB C9, ending with C8DO. So if that matches yours, that's good, and maybe Electrum will offer that in the future. And that's it. I hope that helps. Thanks, everybody. Take care and hodl safe.